What's going on, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to go over what I consider my top four pickups of 2022. Now, three of these items are PC for myself. The other one's one of them ones where I'm in a, I like the card type deal, and I'll explain more into it once we get to it. So with the end of the year coming very quickly, and I pretty much kind of shut down for tax purposes with doing a lot of stuff, like my last night of any consignments with DC Sports is going off Monday night. So once that clears out, I do a few other things throughout the year in buying, you know, I'm done for the tax year. I don't have to hurry up and stress like a lot of guys because I, I like to get my stuff done early. That way I have time to double and triple check numbers and stuff. But that's just my like little pet peeve out there with taxes and everything. So I highly doubt I'm going to find anything else out there that would make my list. And if anybody really knows me, knows I got a, like a 40, top 40 list every year of cards. And as I puck something off of it, I'll probably replace it, you know, with something else that might pop up throughout the year. And I try to at least get two of those items each year. This year, I was lucky to get three. Now, I do, uh, I do look and have safe searches on eBay when stuff pops up. I go to shows looking for the stuff. I look at different Facebook groups maybe once or twice a day. Depending on what I'm doing. A lot of different avenues of trying to find stuff. Uh, Instagram, all that out there. So, let's move into it here. First card, uh, this will be my number four. Now, I like the card because I'm a fan of these booklets. The piece is, is that I'm not a collector of this player. But I do like the card. So... I'll show it to you guys here. You guys probably remember this. And I had to make a homemade case up on this. This is the uh, tribute, if I recall right now. Oh, no, Triple Threads. Triple Threads Trifold Booklet. Sorry, I see the big T up there, and I thought it was uh, tribute. Ronald Kuna, numbered out of five. Picked this up at the Louisville Sports Card Show. And, you know, it's one of them cards I really like. I really don't want to sell it just because... I like how these booklets, you know, the two ends fold in, and it presents a lot better than a lot of the other booklets, just in my opinion. It kind of highlights the card itself in the middle. So a lot of times you'll see, like, a booklet here, and then you got your other booklet here. I like it where these two windows close in. Now, I do usually will take offers on this. I don't put it priced at anything when I do take it out to shows. Usually it's like a filler for the showcase type deal. And I still have hope in Akuna down the road. But this is just a really cool booklet. Plus, I had to get a special. Uh, you guys can see it's not a mag. It's actually a screw-down holder. These things are expensive out there. I think these this one here was $15, $16. I had to buy a couple of them just to save on shipping. But really cool card. Uh, one of my favorites of the year because you usually don't see these cards around here at shows. And when I saw it, guy gave me a good deal, took it, moved on with it. Uh, next one. Pick this up from the Monster this year. This here was on the checklist this year. This one here. And then you got the other Nolan Ryan, which is the uh, Upper Deck Heroes one. I think it was a set of nine or ten cards with one of them being autographed out 2,500. This one here is the Nolan Ryan 5,000K strikeouts autograph out 2,500 as well. It is, if you look down this way onto the card, I don't know if it'll show it here. Right in here, you kind of got that chipping going on from the way it was cut. I still pick these up. I guess you could say I'm hoarding them. I don't know why. I do collect Nolan Ryan. Uh, one day I'm hoping I find one raw out there that'll get me a PSA 10, which I highly doubt will happen. But I have faith. I have faith into it. But I've been looking for these when they come out and I can find them. Because trust me, every time I go on eBay... I don't know what's going on with eBay, but like I'll wait till like three seconds is up, put my bid in, and I'll make some stupid amount. And for some reason, the auction still rolls afterwards because it'll say like it ended. But if I go into like my watch list history, it'll still show 40 seconds left. My bid's in there. So I don't know if it's still trying to pull bids across or what. But then all of a sudden, like five minutes later, oh, you were outbid. I'm like, how? It ended and I was a high bidder by like 80 bucks. Makes no sense, but I finally got one this year. Another one, I should say, but I finally got to pick one up this year. So this is coming at number three for myself this year. Number two. I got to pull this out of its 
case here because it's very, very delicate. This is something you guys have seen. I was hunting these this year, and as you guys noticed, I did pull up many Barry Bonds autos this year. I just want to have one for my own self for later in life. Former Pittsburgh uh, Pirate out there. I know he went back to San Francisco. Don't blame him with the Pirates organization. This is the bigger box topper that I got the 910 on. The only 910 out there. As a matter of fact, the next highest grade is a, B, or is a PSA 7 out there. So finding this in the raw, being able to grade it a 910, it would take something astronomical stupid for somebody to offer me. In order to get rid of this card. Really nice. I mean now granted when I hit some certain age out there. And I decide to get rid of it all. It'll probably go. But for right now it's going to be uh, put away. I do like taking it to shows. Just to show off and stuff like that there. But just as big and bulky it is. It probably won't be making many more shows here in the future. To be honest. Alright I got to put this back in. The last card. Some of you guys might already know. Where I'm going with this right now. It was actually picked up off of eBay. Oh, I should say the Bonds was picked up at a show in Lexington from a guy that I do uh, quite a few deals with. He buys a lot of my, uh, I guess you could say, base commons and stuff like that that he uses for sports slots. And he had this in, and I mean, just seeing it in the shape it was, I thought it was an 8. I was hoping for an 8, and it came back a 9 type deal. But the last card actually uh, came off of eBay. I'm trying to get this back in its holder. You guys see it's like double bubble enveloped. And believe it or not, it was a Probstein auction. Many horror stories out there. I was really worried about being shipped, getting the wrong item and all this stuff. I got pulled out of the case as I talk here. And it came in, and I was very, very happy to be the owner of the very first, since he died, or uh, Hank Aaron cut auto from Five Star Autographs. I do know recently the Diamond Icons 101 sold $7,500. I know a lot of people are like, well, it's just a cut auto. Any these, I don't understand why they're so rare and stuff. It's always been that way since I want to say early two thousands when they did the presidential cuts and the stuff. It's just that rare piece that people like. To me, this here has history because it's really his first cut autograph since he was deceased. And you know, it's only it's only authenticated. There's no grade on to it and stuff like that there, which I'm fine with. Same way I bought it and everything. And I'm just really happy because it's a real clear, clean cut signature going across in the box where a lot of his stuff and these cut autographs has fallen off. Got his name printed, and I don't know what that deals with down there, but to me, I'm happy with it because it presents very, very well. So those are my four big pickups, I could say, or my favorite pickups of the year, top pickups, whatever you want to call it. Trying to get this back in here, okay. Oops, put this in right, yeah. And I wanted to share that with everybody because I like to try to do like some end of the year recaps on different stuff. And I highly doubt that I'm going to find anything in the next show or two that I go to in December. Uh, mostly I'll be looking for, you know, newer inventory, try to grade, sell later on. And then take those profits to buy into stuff like this here. Barnett, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new. Hit the subscribe button, like the video, make comments. What do you guys pick up this year? I always like hearing, you know, and seeing if you guys got Instagram or something like that where you guys got pictures posted, put some links in the comments. Curious, what were you guys? Do you have favorite pickup, top three, top five pickups? If you do a video on it, put a link in the comments. I'll come check it out and comment back on to it. Better than that, guys. Take care. Have a good Saturday. I'm going to get ready to uh, get some more stuff here done. And it's time for... The annual WWE Survivor Series event. Take care.